Leprechauns vs. Witches Battle Today. Today is St. Patrick's Day and over the past 25 years the S&P 500 ended higher 77% of the time on March 17, with an average gain of 0.94%. After the recent banking mess and a week of volatile trading before the Fed announcement next week, it would be nice to see a 1% rally. Let's think about this for a second. What's the next, big, level in the S&P 500? Aren't we trading right around 4,000? Here's a chart using the ETF, SPY. The current price is 396.11 and what's an additional 1% from the current price? Wouldn't you know, it's 400. Look at the open interest on the 17 MAR expiration of the SPX. 10x the SPY. There's a combined 239k contracts at the 4000 level. There is a lot of open interest just 1% away from current prices, and history is saying there's a good chance we could see some green at the end of the rainbow. But wait! What's the second part of the headline for this article? Something about witches. Yes, today is triple witching day, which means it's one of four days a year that stock options, stock index options, and stock index futures contracts all expire on the same trading day. It turns out that triple witching is neither bullish nor bearish, but it does bring an increase in volatility, especially the last hour of the trading day, known as the witching hour. Traders are often left scrambling to close, roll, or offset expiring options. If you're looking to sell premium, tomorrow should bring the volatility and that should raise option prices, which are already elevated due to the banking crisis and the upcoming Fed meeting. It's a good time to be a premium collector. So, who will win the day? The seasonal St. Patrick's Day rally? Or will the witches cause havoc on an unstable market? For more on this article and ones like this visit tradersreserve.com.